I think, by and large, um, tax reform, uh, tax agencies could benefit from multiple doses, from my own experience. Uh, one is, of course, you have to build capacities of the tax administration to new, know how to um, be vigilant on um, uh, on uh, the tax collection itself. But more important from my own experience of working on tax administrative regimes has been that the most um, uh, um, high impact comes from publishing the tax records of the um, of the uh, of the big guys <laughs> i don't <coughs> mean to exclude the big girls out there but i think that would uh, definitely have a uh, because it opens and brings in transparency in the in the tax regime so i think raising awareness of the tax evaders um, and uh, uh, also the tax avoidance practices uh, and going for the big guns, uh, particularly the politicians and others uh, who are not paying taxes and who are not paying their utility bills is the experience that I have. Uh, the disclosure would be well, but also having um, a tax administration, nurturing a culture of tax administration which has zero tolerance um, of uh, either the neglect or collusion between the taxpayer and the tax administrator. And uh, several things have worked in this in different countries. Sometimes governments uh, attempt to have higher uh, salaries for uh, tax inspectors, uh, which is a way to avoid uh, this collusion. Because if you are uh, remunerated effectively, you would uh, probably avoid that. Um, uh, in other cases, uh, there could be bonuses of the large catchers, um, close monitoring of the tax inspector's results uh, from the major city centers where bulk of the tax is collected, uh, and uh, things like that. What you do need is a very strong uh, monitoring mechanism and a micro data, supplemented by micro data, of who has the capacity and what they are. 